Greetings and welcome once again to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel and today I'm going to talk about um, a topic I've covered before but in a different light. So I'm going to be discussing uh, things that I haven't actually said in the same way before. So having said that, let's begin as soon as I can turn the camera off. Okay. So um, the topic I'm going to be discussing is the, the nonsense known as, oh, now how come I can't get that to work? That's just not a good thing. The nonsense that is known as uh, Newton's evanescent quantities. Okay, so now in one of his videos, Wilberger, who has a very large following, and actually doesn't know what he's talking about um, says at this part of his video that Newton had these evanescent quantities that you see here uh, which in fact in fact uh, Newton called evanescent quantities okay the ones that are in this Part of the video so things like uh, x to the n minus 1 o plus n n minus 1 over 2 times x to the n minus 2 o squared etc so all the terms that you see you know uh, actually disappear so i'm not going to waste time on this fool because he's also a uh, a coward and a disrespectful person um, as he had agreed once upon a time to have uh, an online discussion with me and basically chickened out because he was worried about his reputation anyway so what I want to show you is that um, my historic geometric identity which states the following and I'll place a link to the full article and description. It states the following. It says that that is equal to the derivative plus the difference in the slope of the tangent line and the slope of the tangent line, which is this line, the slope here, and the slope of the non-parallel secant, which is the slope here. So in fact, Q of x comma h is an expression with at least one term in h that describes the difference between these two slopes okay it's always the case and um, i've also shown you in one of my applets to which i'll place a link and you can actually try it out and see that it does work for any uh, smooth function you care to choose so my stroke geometric theorem showed that there was nothing to rigorize. What I'm telling you right here is what Newton did by just throwing away these terms was perfectly valid. There was nothing to rigorize. Only the morons who came after him didn't understand. Well, they didn't understand because, quite frankly, Newton didn't know what he was doing. Okay, Neither did Leibniz. It took sheer genius, the genius of John Gabriel. Yeah, that's me. To reveal these things to the world okay so um, calculus didn't have to be rigorized but of course uh, Newton and Leibniz wouldn't have stumbled on this brilliance even if even if they have lived a thousand years okay it takes a genius to realize things like my historic geometric theorem and that I am so um, let me just keep this video short I will uh, once again, ask you to become a subscriber if you're not a subscriber. Tell your friends about my channel and donate at my GoFundMe link. That's pretty much it. Till next time, I'm John.